हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बाय डॉक्टर नवनीत फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द कंसेप्ट व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज वेक्टर कैलकुलस एंड आवर मेन फोकस इज ऑन वेक्टर डिफरेंशिएशन अंडर दिस वेक्टर डिफरेंशिएशन कांसेप्ट वी आर लर्निंग द पर्टिकुलर टाइप व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज ग्रेडिएंट ऑफ अ वेक्टर सो बिफोर सॉल्विंग द एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन दिस टॉपिक लेट्स डिस्कस द थ्योरी पार्ट रिलेटेड टू दिस ग्रेडिएंट ऑफ अ वेक्टर सो फ्रेंड्स लेट मी फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस द ऑपरेटर व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज वेक्टर ऑपरेटर व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज डेल और सम पीपल मे कॉल दिस एज वेक्टर डिफरेंशियल ऑपरेटर सो व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज डेल वी कैन प्रोनाउंस दिस एज डेल और सम पीपल मे कॉल दिस एज नेबला सो सम पीपल मे कॉल दिस एज अ नेबला सो जनरली सो दिस ऑपरेटर सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज डेल्टा दिस इज कॉल्ड एज डेल्टा सो दिस इज डेल्टा एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज डेल सो व्हिच इज डिफाइंड एज i टाइम पार्शियल डिरिवेटिव विद रिस्पेक्ट टू x प्लस j टाइम पार्शियल डिरिवेटिव विद रिस्पेक्ट टू y plus k time partial derivative with respect to uh, z so now friends here this i denote the unit vector corresponding to x axis this z is called the unit vector corresponding to y axis and this uh, k represent the unit vector uh, corresponding to uh, z axis so this is called as vector operator del or delta so del or nebula then uh, next definition is called as gradient of a uh, scalar point function so now friends here uh, so definition of this gradient is that if phi uh, which is the function of x y z or some people may only denote this phi so this phi stand for the variable x y and z uh, be a scalar a uh, function then gradient of phi which is denoted by del phi so so don't write this as del phi so notation is del phi so some people may try to this notation for del dot phi or some people may call this as del cross phi so friends this notation and these three notations are totally different so this is called as uh, divergence and this is called as curl and we are learning this topic in our next video lecture so as a time being so please try to understand that so don't put the sign in between this del and phi so otherwise its meaning will get uh, changed now friends here this gradient is denoted by del phi or some people may write this as grad phi g r a d grad phi and which is uh, defined as gradient of phi is equal to del phi which is equal to i time partial derivative of phi with respect to x plus j time partial derivative of phi with respect to y plus k time partial derivative of phi with respect to z where this i j k denote the unit vector corresponding to x y and z axis so friends uh, some people denote this unit vector by i j and k so or some people may write this as i bar so j bar and k bar so we use either this way or this way both way it is possible so this is just a, a writing style so now friends this is the definition of gradient of phi and we are going to solve the example based on this gradient of phi so before going to the example of this gradient of phi so we required one important result which is called as dot product between two vector suppose a bar is equal to uh, a1 i plus a2 z plus a3 k be one vector uh, then a second vector is b bar which is defined as b1 i plus b2 j plus b3 k then their dot product is defined as a1 b1 a2 b2 and a3 b3 their addition so now friends here while taking the dot product so take the uh, product of i i term coefficient take the product of j j term coefficient and take the product of k k term coefficient product so in this way we get this as a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 so this is the theory part which is required to learn the example based on gradient of a, a scalar point function now friends here let's take the first example to understand this concept so example is uh, if phi is equal to uh, 3x square y minus y cube z square then question is uh, find the value of del phi so that means find out the gradient of a scalar point function phi at the point 1 minus 2 and 1 that means after finding the value of del phi in particular put x is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 2 and z is equal to 1 in the given answer so that is the meaning of at 1 minus 2 and 1 so now friends our aim is to find out the value of the del phi 
So we can write the definition of del phi as so this is the definition of del phi and which is uh, defined as i time derivative of phi with respect to x plus j time so derivative of phi with respect to y plus k time so we try denote this by derivative of phi with respect to z now friends this is the value of phi just put the value of phi here so we write this as i time partial derivative to with respect to x of phi that means this is 3x square y minus this is y cube z square now find out its derivative with respect to x then plus j partial derivative to with respect to y of again this is 3x square y minus y cube z square plus this is k partial derivative with respect to uh, z of again this is uh, 3x square y minus this is uh, y cube and z uh, square so now friends uh, we just put the value of phi here and now after putting the value of phi now find out the partial derivative uh, with respect to x y and z so now if we take the partial derivative of this term with respect to x that means y and z are constant so now here so x square term is there so we can write this as uh, x square means this is uh, 3 to the 6 x y so the derivative of this uh, y cube z square is 0 because we are taking derivative with respect to x y and z are constant so this is the first term uh, plus j uh, then here take the derivative of this middle term with respect to y so now here first uh, term y is present so we can write this as uh, 3x square uh, because we are taking derivative with respect to y that means x is constant then derivative of y with respect to y is 1 then minus take the derivative of this y cube with respect to y which is uh, 3y square uh, as it is uh, then the value of z square remains as it is uh, because z is constant for this term then plus uh, let's write down the partial derivative with respect to z now, so this term is constant because we are taking partial derivative with respect to z x and y is constant so this term is constant and derivative of constant is zero so now z is available here so we can write this as minus 2 uh, y cube into uh, z so in this way we take the <coughs> value of uh, del phi so which is called as gradient of phi so this is the answer which is related to the gradient of phi now question is that find out this del phi at 1 minus 2 and 1 so we can write this as uh, del phi at the point 1 minus 2 and 1 and this value is i time so put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 so we get this as minus 12 because after putting x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 6 to the uh, 12 minus sign is there uh, plus we can write this as so put x is equal to 1 so we get this as uh, 3 minus this is 3 into uh, y is uh, 2 so we can write uh, 2 minus 2 square is uh, 4 again z is 1 uh, so in this way we get this term so plus k into this is minus 2 into y cube so y cube means uh, this is 2 uh, it's cube that means we get this as minus sign because of cube and uh, 2 cube is 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 so we get this as minus 8 into uh, 1 so now friends if we try to write this then we can write this as minus 12 i so write on the first constant term then unit vector uh, minus uh, so then this become so 4 3 is a 12 uh, so 12 then we get this as 3 that means uh, 12 minus uh, th uh, 3 so we get this as 12 uh, sorry this is a 9 j uh, then next term is this is minus minus become plus a product uh, so 8 to the 16 so we can write this as 16k so we may write this as ijk or we may write the bar in the in front of this ijk term so now friends uh, this is the value of gradient of phi uh, for this function at the point 1 minus 2 and 2 so this is the first simple example now let's take the second example now friends here a second example is uh, the value of uh, a scalar point function uh, phi is given as uh, x z square minus phi u y z plus x z now question is uh, find the value of del phi that means find out the value of gradient of phi uh, so we know the definition of del phi so del phi is i time uh, partial derivative of phi with respect to x plus z time partial derivative of phi with respect to y 
plus k time partial root of phi with respect to z. Now we can write this as i time, write the partial derivative of this phi with respect to x. That means this is x uh, z square minus phi u y z plus x z uh, plus z. Again partial derivative with respect to y of this is x z square minus phi u y z plus x z plus k time partial derivative of this term with respect to uh, z of this is uh, x uh, z square minus phi u y z plus x z. So now let's take the partial derivative of this term with respect to x with respect to y and with respect to z. So we can write this as i then if we take the derivative of this term with respect to uh, x then uh, y and z is constant so we can write this as z square because derivative of x with respect to x is 1 then so this in this second term y and z is present its derivative with respect to x is 0 again uh, in last term x is present so we can write its derivative as 1 and constant z as it is so plus uh, z again take the derivative of this function with respect to y so by taking the derivative with respect to y x and z is constant so now friends here in the first term y is absent that means this is constant term and derivative of constant is zero now in second term y is present so we can write this as minus uh, phi u uh, then we can write this as minus phi u z derivative of y with respect to y is one again here y is absent which is constant term so derivative of constant is zero so we get the middle term uh, plus k time uh, then here plus x so this is the value of our uh, gradient of phi which is called as del phi so but our question is find out this gradient at the point 1 minus 1 and 2 so we can write this value as del phi at 1 minus 1 and 2 which is equal to that means put x is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to uh, 2 so we can write this as i then z square that means this is 2 square which is 4 again plus uh, 2 uh, into z this is minus 5 into uh, 2 uh, so because value of z is 2 uh, plus k uh, then we get this as 2 into value of x is 1 and z is 2 so we can write this as into 1 into 2 minus 5 into uh, again value of y is minus 1 so we can write this as into minus 1 uh, plus value of x value of x is 1 so that's why we write this as 1 now just uh, simplify this so we get this as i so instead of writing i uh, at the first term we write afterwards i so both way it is possible so this is uh, 4 plus 2 uh, 6i then this is uh, 5 to the 10 so minus sign into z then again this is uh, 2 to the this term is 4 then this is minus minus become uh, plus 5 plus 1 again total answer is plus 10k so in this way uh, we get the value of del phi for this function uh, scalar function which is defined as x z square minus phi u y z plus x z at the point 1 minus 1 and 2 so this is the second example now let's take the third example now friends uh, here our third example is uh, the value of a scalar point function phi is defined as log of x square plus y square plus z square and question is find the value of gradient of phi so we know the first uh, definition of gradient of uh, phi which is also denoted by del phi and this is defined as i time partial derivative of phi with respect to x plus z time partial derivative of phi with respect to y plus k time partial derivative of phi with respect to uh, z so we can write this as i time partial derivative of this term with respect to x of phi so value of phi is log of x square plus y square plus uh, z square uh, its partial derivative with respect to x plus z time we can write this as partial derivative with respect to uh, y of again this is log of x square plus y square plus uh, z square uh, again we can write this as plus k time partial derivative with respect to uh, z of log of x square plus y square plus z square so this is the uh, 
term after uh, definition. So that means after putting the value of phi, we get this term. Now, friends, uh, just put the value, uh, uh, just find out the partiality of this term with respect to x. So here we can write this as i into. So when we try to take the partial derivative of this function with respect to x, then this is of the type log of x. And we know the derivative of log x, derivative of log x is 1 upon x. So that's why we can write this as so x square plus y square plus and z square. But this is other than x. So this is other than x. So let's take the derivative of x square plus y square plus z square with respect to x and its derivative is 2x because of while taking the partial derivative with respect to x y and z is constant so this is the first term uh, plus j again uh, take the derivative of this middle term with respect to y while taking derivative with respect to y x and z is constant so again log term is present and we know that derivative of log x is 1 upon x so we can write this as x square plus y square plus z square but this is other than x so let's take the derivative of this function with respect to y and its derivative is 2y plus k time again uh, take the derivative of this function with respect to z this is of the type log of x so we can write this as upon uh, x square plus y square plus z square this is the value of x but this is other than this is the value this is the value of x type but this is other than x so take the derivative of x square plus y square plus z square with respect to z and its derivative is 2z. So friends, this is the value of first, second and third term. So one general observation is that denominator is same for all the term. Moreover, in numerator 2 is constant. So we can write this as 2 upon this is x square plus y square plus z square. And then in bracket we get this as xi because uh, x is remain and this unit vector as it is plus in second term this is y and uh, z plus in third term we get this as z and k so we know that so value of uh, vector r bar is x i plus y j plus z k so this is called as the vector r and if we take its magnitude so then magnitude of this term is root of x square plus y square plus z square so if we apply this concept then we get this as 2 upon so friends here uh, the value of this term x i plus y z plus z k is r bar so that's why we can write this as vector r bar and this x square plus y square plus z square if we make the square of this term that means we get uh, left side square and uh, right side square we get this as r square which is the value of this term and we can write this as r square so this is the value of gradient of phi uh, for with the help of this rule then again this is del uh, into this term that means once again apply the concept of gradient of phi so that we get the solution of this step so now let's do this step one by one so now friends here uh, first we will try to find the value of del phi so here the value of uh, del phi we can write this as i time uh, derivative of phi with respect to x plus z time derivative of phi with respect to y plus k time derivative of phi with respect to z and which is given as so this is i uh, then derivative of this phi term uh, with respect to x so this derivative is uh, 2x plus z time derivative of this phi with respect to y is uh, 2y uh, plus this is k time uh, derivative of this term with respect to z is 2z so in this way uh, we get the value of gradient of phi uh, we may write uh, in this equation in this form or we may write this as uh, 2xi plus 2yj plus 2zk so both way it is possible to mention this equation so this is the value of del uh, phi now our uh, next aim is to find out the value of del psi so now again here we can write this as del psi and which is defined as i time derivative partial derivative of psi with respect to x plus z time derivative of psi with respect to y plus k time derivative of psi with respect to z and which is uh, <coughs> obtained uh, as so this is i time uh, partial derivative of uh, psi with respect to x uh, while taking partial derivative with respect to x y and z is constant for this time uh, so this psi so let's take this derivative with respect to x so derivative of x square is 2x uh, y square this is constant 
again this is to uh, z square x so plus uh, z so then take the derivative of psi with respect to y so take the derivative of this term with respect to y by taking derivative with respect to y x and z is constant now we can write this as uh, 2 x square uh, y plus this is a uh, 2y z square <coughs> then uh, plus k we can write uh, this as now take the uh, derivative partial derivative of psi with respect to z uh, when you take this derivative with respect to z x and y is constant now here x and y is present which is constant derivative is uh, 0 then this derivative is 2 uh, y square z and then again plus this is uh, 2z then x square so in this way we obtain the partial derivative so if we try to simplify this then we get this as uh, 2x y square plus 2 uh, x z square so let's arrange this in proper format so we get this as 2x uh, z square so into uh, unit vector i plus we can write this as 2 x square y plus 2 y z square into z plus uh, we can write uh, this as uh, write down the unit vector afterwards so we can write this as 2 y square z plus 2 z into x square into uh, unit vector along uh, z axis is k now friends in this way we obtain the value of grad of phi and grad of uh, psi now next aim is to take their dot product so that we know the process of taking dot product if a bar and b bar are two vector then we are taking the dot product of this vector by taking the product of coefficient of i i term coefficient of z z term and coefficient of k k term so now if we try to uh, take the dot product of del phi with del psi then we get this as so value of del phi so value of del phi is uh, 2xi plus 2yj plus 2zk uh, this the product with this term so this term is written as 2xy square plus 2xz square into i uh, plus we can write this as 2x square y plus 2yz uh, square into j plus we can write this as 2 uh, y square z plus 2 z x square into uh, k so we are taking the dot product of these two terms so now in between these two terms so there is a dot product now friends we know that if we apply this dot product concept then take the product of i i term coefficient so here i i term coefficient is 2x and this term is 2xy square plus 2xz square if we take the product of this two term directly that means multiply this term by 2x so this become uh, 2 to the 4 x into x we get this as x square uh, y square plus 2 to the 4 this is again uh, x into x uh, we get this as x square um, into this z square as it is so in this way we take the product of these two terms now take the uh, product of j j term coefficient so here 2 j and this term is there so take the product that means multiply this term by 2 y so we get this as 2 to the 4 x square then y into y we get this as y square again 2 into 2 we get this as 4 y into this y we get this as y square uh, z square plus again take the product of this two term uh, so that means multiply this term by uh, 2z so we get this as 2 to the uh, 4 y square again uh, this z and this z we get this as z square uh, plus 4 this is um, z square into x square so in this way we take the uh, dot product of this two term which is denoted by del phi dot del uh, psi so here our uh, friends we obtain this term del phi dot del psi now again a question is that find out the value of gradient of this function so this is other type uh, del phi where the value of phi means this whole bracketed term so now friends uh, therefore we can calculate this as uh, del time uh, so we can write this as del time uh, del phi dot del uh, psi which is equal to now again friends here uh, question is um, to simplify this term 
So before uh, taking the derivative of this function, uh, so try to simplify this term. So if we uh, observe this term carefully, then this term and this term is repeated. So we can write this as 4 uh, plus 4, we can write this as 8 x square y square. Again, this is uh, 4 x square z square. Then this is again 4 x square z square. We can write this as plus 8 x square z square plus remaining term is this two term which is again 8 y square and z square so before proceeding to the next step we just simplify this term and try to reduce this equation in terms of simple uh, form moreover we can write this as 8 time so this is x square y square take the term 8 common uh, plus this is x square uh, z square plus this is y square z uh, square so we write this step for our simplicity now uh, here uh, so take the value of del into del phi dot del uh, psi term that means take the into so uh, take the partial derivative of this function according to this formula we can write the value of phi as so this is the value of phi and take its derivative with respect to x so if we try to take the derivative of this term uh, with respect to x then uh, we get this as uh, 8 so this is 8 uh, then the derivative of this term uh, with respect to x is so we can write this as uh, 2 x y square this is 2 x y square uh, plus 2 x z square then next term is 0 so this is the partial derivative with respect to x plus j time we can write this as 8 so again take the derivative of this function with respect to y according to this formula take the derivative with respect to y now, now this derivative is 2 uh, x square y this is 2 x square y again this term is uh, constant because we are taking derivative with respect to y then plus we can write this as 2 y uh, z square now this term is over now plus we can write this as uh, k into 8 Again, uh, last term is take the derivative of phi with respect to z. That means take the derivative of this term with respect to z. We get this as 8 as it is. Now this term is constant uh, because we are taking derivative with respect to z. And here x and y is present which is constant. Now this is 0. Its derivative is 2 uh, x square z plus this is again 2 uh, y square z. So in this way, uh, we get the derivative of this function with respect to x y and z now friends if we uh, try to further simplify this then we get this as i time uh, if we take this to the inner side uh, then we get this as uh, 8 to the uh, 16 x uh, y square uh, plus this is again 16 x uh, z square so this is the first term uh, plus z time again this is uh, 8 to the uh, 16 x square y plus this is 16 y uh, z square plus this is k time again 8 to the 16 x square z plus 16 uh, y square z so just we simplify this term so now friends it is possible for us uh, to write this as i time uh, now here if we take the term uh, 16 uh, x common then we get this as y square plus uh, z square uh, then again uh, same z uh, take the term uh, 16 y common here and then we get remaining term as x square plus uh, z square uh, then again plus k time again 16 z is common so we get this as x square plus y square now <coughs> friends uh, this is the value of del at the point uh, uh, value of gradient of del phi dot del uh, psi so del phi dot del psi so this is the answer which is related to the question uh, phi and psi and we find the term gradient of del phi dot del psi so this is the fourth and last example of this video lecture uh, let's take identities which are related to the gradient of phi so if we uh, take the sum or difference between uh, the gradient of phi term so that means gradient of u plus v now we write this as gradient of u plus gradient of v or if sign is uh, minus in between these two terms we can write minus sign in between these two terms then gradient of u v is equal to u time gradient of v uh, plus v time gradient of u 
then gradient of u upon v uh, we can write this as v into gradient of u minus u into gradient of v upon v square now friends here if we take the k as constant term then gradient of u v is equal to k into gradient of u that means we are taking constant outside the gradient then del uh, uh, gradient of f of r is equal to f dash of r into uh, r bar upon r so this r denote the vector and this is the uh, magnitude value then del of uh, uh, 1 upon r that means gradient of 1 upon r is minus r bar upon r cube then gradient of r dash to n is n into r dash to n minus 2 into vector r bar so these are the seven important identity for the gradient of phi now friends time is to uh, solve some example uh, from your side that means to test your knowledge now let's take some example for testing your knowledge now friends for uh, testing your uh, knowledge uh, so there are uh, seven examples are given uh, so first example is find the gradient of phi uh, for this phi function uh, so first function is phi is equal to 2x z raised to 4 minus x square y at the point uh, 2 minus 2 and 1 and this is the answer which is related to the first question uh, second question is phi is equal to x square plus y square plus z square at the point 1 1 1 and this is the answer related to the second question uh, friends here our third question is phi is equal to x square plus y square plus z square into e raised to minus root of x square plus y square plus z square so for solving uh, this third example uh, so use the concept that value of r is equal to uh, root of x square plus y square plus z square if we apply this concept then you can easily solve this question and this is the answer related to third question fourth question is phi is equal to 2xz square minus 3xy minus 4x at the point 1 minus 1 and 2 and this is the answer related to this and uh, fifth one is uh, scalar function phi is defined as uh, phi u x square y minus 3 x square z square at the point 1 minus 2 and 1 and this is the answer corresponding to the fifth question then uh, so second type of question is that if you can we can define u as x plus y plus z v is defined as x plus y and w is defined as minus 2 x z minus 2 y z minus z square then uh, question is that show that uh, gradient of u uh, and uh, gradient of v and gradient of w their cross product and after finding this term show that this value is equal to uh, 0 and last question is that if the vector uh, f bar is defined as 2 x square i minus 3 y z z plus x z square k and phi is defined by this term this is the vector and this is the uh, scalar uh, because here uh, direction is not available so phi is the scalar function which is defined as 2z minus x cube y then question is uh, find the value of f bar dot del phi at the point 1 minus 1 and 2 that means first find out the value of gradient of phi and take their dot product with f bar and answer is the value phi after taking the top product so solve this example at your level so friends i hope you people like this lecture so thanks to one and all thank you